we just come outside and observe. We're looking at clouds and it's beginning to rain. Weather is the first line of defense. You can't do anything without knowing what the weather's going to be. Being an areographer's mate, we analyze and forecast weather for the fleet. It's very important to the safety of navigation and flight for uh, the ships that are deployed as well as all aviation assets. You can't control the weather. But what we can do is provide timing. So if the weather is bad at one location or at this time, we definitely can provide recommendations. Hurricane season is coming up. I am building hurricane tracks to prep us for the hurricane season. I provided forecasts for hurricanes, Maria, Jose, and Irma. You're talking about 20,000 plus sailors, keeping them out of harm's way. I love science. This is the closest job in the Navy related to science because we get to do um, meteorology and oceanography. Right now, what I'm doing is fleet experimentation and concepts. It's amazing being able to work with the newest software, the newest programs. What we're trying to do is uh, figure out how the atmospherics can provide a tactical advantage in regards to war fighting. When you're out to sea, you're able to go outside and actually take the observation and actually see the skies and actually see the seas and actually feel the ship rocking to understand this is what five foot seas feels like and this is what 12 foot seas feel like. You get a lot more experience on a ship as an AG because you see weather from all over the world. We went to Bahrain, Dubai, England and Israel. So I've gotten to see the weather patterns over there. The Navy is all about the experience for me. Um, you wouldn't get these experiences in a normal, uh, everyday nine to five. Um, every day it's something new and every day it's something different. <laughs>